Well, all my good friends, Roger once again, sort of surprised today to see this, that scientists shave estimate of neutrinos mass in half. Well, at one time, they never even thought it had any mass. So let's see, what is a neutrino? Okay, so I, we're looking at neutrinos. Let's see what I think maybe I'm showing as neutrinos. All right, here's what they show is electron neutrinos, and it creates that electron shower. The high-speed electron comes in, crashes into a medium which it's too high-powered for, and it's like shooting into a, into a rack of, of billiard balls, and they just go flying. Cherenkov radiation, which is, just means high-speed electrons produce an electron, a neutrino event, produces multiple cones. That's what we see. So you can see, that's just red laser coming through, and it, there's only a particle right there. Everything else is concussion, like a jet fighter going through the atmosphere. Now, in order to get Cherenkov, we have to get the accelerator. Something's going to be have to be higher speed crashing into something. This is what happens. We've accelerated the light pulled the particle into exposure you're seeing it because everything is stretched it's going too fast now to make that wave that's the whole idea of Cherenkov. it's too fast for the space that it's in so it can't make that wave not only that we're forcing it to crush into these venturis, into the venturi, which which makes it accelerate, but when it does accelerate, it crushes everybody in front of it, and because they can't all get through there, and they all have to get, want to get through, they're not all going to get through, but most of them will, and at the when they do get through, they're coming through, touching each each other, and they do not want that. They want a huge region around each other. That's plasma. That is what I am going to call a Venturi particle crusher. Instead of coming head on like CERN does, we're coming sideways into it. And they're just forcing each other and they're just scrambling the hell out of each other. And that's just nothing but plasma. When it comes back out, it's charge separated. There's black and there's white. And I'll show you in a better shot. And then it goes into the interference patterns, which are charge opposition patterns. These are not these are repulsion patterns because they set up stripes of all negatives, all negatives, all negatives, that type of thing. Now, that's plasma, charge separation. If you can create cold plasma, no additional charge to do this. I didn't put any, anything extra in there. There's two drums here. Rod Warren just accidentally discovered this, and it makes these things accelerate, plasmatize, and then charge separate. And if you can do that with heavy particles, which I think you can, and when they come back together, there's a ton of extra energy. That's called fusion. And it's been a, a, a dream to get cold fusion, and I try to get people to look at this, and I'm having a hard time getting anybody to look. And yet to me, that's your cherry cough. These little zip, zip. These are what they call bosons. They're high-speed spinning particles that are going so fast they can't really interact. Once they hit and slow down enough to just impact, then they start to set up these fields that surround them. These. Oh, you see those little dots? That's nothing more than plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. They're just pushing electrons away from them as they spin out through the space. That's what's going on there. And, uh, and we have, part, oh, I got a ton of pictures about this. And that one right there, that's that's an interesting one. That's spinning backwards. You see it gathering itself in whiteness, and all the rest of them are displaying. This is my They're all displaying a field being pushed away as it spins to the right. This one's gathering. It's gathering. It's gathering. So it's just the opposite, which could be antimatter. I have no clue. But by any standard, you have to find this interesting. That's that white particle. It does have some form of, of structure to it, it looks like to me. Now, it came through there underneath this one and then popped into that one, looks that's all I can see. And as it's, it's decaying, or whatever it's doing, it's turning into this. Now, will that fluff up to this size? I don't know. Is it like a half a light particle? <laughs> I have no clue. 
none. But I know we got some damn good shots. That's coming out of the accelerator all blurred up. And then shortly afterwards, it steps down into this back-to-back -back dipoles. Now, they're looking for neutrinos. They're looking for particles that don't have any charges and particles that have charges and particles that spin to the left and spin to the right. I got a lot of stuff to look at here, so I'm willing to show. It does it with the green ones, too, but they're further out. It's because it's just more power. The red ones are the not quite as powerful as a green and this right here is a blow up of that venturi crusher particles are being forced into each other's regions and it's a hundred percent white here and then the black comes back in you see the black starting to come back in to me i say uh, that I, I all you can do is say that's charge separation i cannot account for that i have no clue how the positives could leave from the negatives I, I, I have no idea how that happens, and, I, and but nobody's looking at it, so nobody's ever going to have an idea. I'm willing to show everything. Rod gave, gave this away without any, any concern, and I am too. So, uh, you know, we just like to have somebody look at it. It'd be very interesting to see if this could create fusion by discharge separation process. I mean, that's it doesn't get any better than that. So, anyway, that's... That's just me talking. All right. God bless you. Thank you. And I hope somebody will contact us and, uh, and, and we'll show you what, what we're thinking.